working super hard behind the scenes during this crazy COVID period, uh, trying to figure out ways to get our face painters excited and hopeful and just create happy, healthy habits. Really, at the end of the day, uh, what we need to do is just more information helps make you more aware, helps you create best practices, for, especially for hygiene. Um, and while I do not claim to be a chemist or all-knowing or even a doctor, um, what I will tell you is that I love doing the research. I love um, bringing information to you and you can figure it, things out for yourself. I also love creating products for you that help you um, just do a better job all around, both as a parent, as a face painter, as an artist, as just a good human. So I hope that everyone is staying healthy and healthy, happy and safe. Um, I think you're gonna like this video. I got really excited. I have a special guest. Uh, you guys know him as Johanna. Johanna. Uh, you haven't seen him in a long time, but John is in the studio with me and he bought the coolest machine of all time because he has a brand new company, Sanitizing. Um, and uh, sanitizing different uh, products like car seats and stuff like that. So he bought this amazing tool. What is so it's tool? an ATP test, so it tests like germs essentially. So naturally we're all concerned in going forward how we can create best practices for hygiene to help our customers stay happy, to know what products to use. Many of us are wondering, should you bring alcohol? Should you spray everything down? Should you throw away your kit? And while I don't have all the answers today, what I can say is that I'm working really hard behind the scenes to to find out what is working so you don't have to invest in a sterilizer or you don't have to invest in a million billion things and wear like an infrared suit like I want to help you guys and that is my goal so I will start off by saying I purchased some of these UV sanitizing portable stations. Uh, this is one bag. It is. It has a portable, uh, the UV lighting inside of here. I can show you how that works. Um, this is a smaller version. So originally when I got it, I said, okay, maybe this will be good to put our brushes in, sanitize them. Um, so there's that. Then as face painters, many of us are still having trouble finding hand sanitizer. And the hand sanitizer that is out, the Purells, they're great because they're effective, right? They have alcohol, they have hydrogen peroxide, but the problem is they make your hands really, really dry. And as artists and people who use our hands for everything, what happens when your hands are really dry is you have to put moisturizer, moisturizer on after in order to avoid that, um, in order to avoid those really dry cracking hands, which don't make it easy to paint. I work with so the I chemist from Brush Bath to help develop hand and sanitizer both spray oops both spray and gel form. Um, it's called Handy Sani. Um, I think you're gonna love it. It has aloe in it to help keep our hands moisturized. Um, it's effective in killing germs. We've tested it. Uh, we've tried different smells. We've tried different things. Um, consistencies, you know, evaporation. We're in a really hard spot in terms of heat. So having a really high alcohol content starts making everything else. So we have been doing our research and we are gonna launch it hopefully on June 1st, once we have all of our paperwork submitted with the FDA. Because believe it or not, the FDA uh, considers hand sanitizer an over-the-counter drug. So we wanted to make sure that we were on the up and up with everything we needed to do because your safety is my pri first priority. As a small business owner, I sell you guys things, develop products that I believe in, that I test, that I would use on my own kids and my own skin uh, before I ever put anyone else in harm. So I just want to give you guys the heads up. Then this product I'm very excited about too. So these are my samples. This is what I've been playing with, with in terms of um, smells and everything like that. Cause I'm not a big smell person. I'll be honest with you. When I created brush bath, I wanted to keep the smell to a minimum, but lavender is very relaxing. So that's why it has a lavender smell. So this is an all purpose handy sani. So you're saying, what's that? Basically, when you get in your car, you spray your director's chair, you spray your purse after being on the gig, you can spray your whole craft and go down, you're just gonna spray, okay, literally. 
And this is an all-purpose sanitizer. So it's not meant for you to spray on your brushes, on your sponges. This is more for like your surface things, right? Your director's chair. Again, you can get in your car and you can spray your car down because most of the time we pick up things as we go. I know I paint a lot of the time in parks and you know, these little like bugs fall down from the trees and you know, people are coughing and such. So just spray your stuff down before you bring those same items back in your car. And it's just peace of mind. Um, I didn't want to go the Lysol route because Lysol is strong. And for someone like me with sensitive lungs, I was having a lot of trouble with the Clorox wipes and Lysol. So I wanted something that was mild but effective, a natural cleaner. Um, so yeah, so I think you're really going to like that. So the Handy Sandy collection, I hope to launch on June 1st. I'm just getting all my paperwork, register with the FDA, everything I needed to do. So that will be January, f uh, uh, June 1st. Okay. That's the goal. Stay tuned because I'm very excited about this. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, natural ingredients made here in the United States by women. Women who test it, try it, make sure that it works. And for me, that's important because I didn't want to just sell you guys alcohol in a bottle. Anyone can buy alcohol in a bottle. You can mix it with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide and glycerin and make your own if you want to do that. Um, if not, I have some available for you. Okay. So, the real reason I wanted to make this video, to get you guys excited. One, many people asked me about these portable sanitizers. So we're gonna do a test. We're gonna do it with the ATP machine, with the germ machine. I'm gonna show you guys what I found and what got me super excited about showing you about how effective brush bath is. Okay, you guys know this guy right here. Hey. So this is his fancy machine for his brand new Sandy Experts business. Yes. We're very excited about that. So he has this fancy machine, which basically tests germs, right? Um, and I mean... It tests the amount of germs or microorganisms on a surface. Yeah, which is important, right? Because that's how I'm able... I wouldn't be able to really test this if like fast enough to get you guys results um, without it. So thank you, John, for that. So basically, this is a regular paintbrush. So imagine I left a gig, put it in my kit, do my normal thing where I just kind of like rinse off my brushes, leave it to dry. Then I picked it up, had it in my hand, and started setting up my stuff. I'm gonna show you how many germs are on it, like right now, ra just just randomly. Just raw. This just raw. Just straight out of a kit, we're just gonna do it. So what the machine does is basically there's this little swab. I'm gonna swab down the surface, put it into the machine, and it'll give you a number. The higher the number, the more organisms is in there, the dirtier it is. The lower the number, uh, the more clean it is, yeah. I guess. So anyway, all right, let's do that. Mix this up. I'm going to turn on the machine. It'll count down from 15. It's going to calibrate. Three, two, one. So it has 834 that it found. Okay. Liz, let's test out the sanitizer. So this is the UV sanitizer. Again, I'm just going to take it and I'm going to put it directly in here. Um, this one says that it takes three minutes. So basically you have to zip it up. It's like a little caboodle, old school. And then you press the button and you can see the UV light on inside. Oh, okay. Once you, so this is just the UV light. Okay. So I'm going to take it out just like this, and then John's gonna run another test to see how effective uh, the uh, this UV station is. Because I don't want you to invest in one if you don't think it's worth it. Um, these retail, this size retails for about $99. So um, I've seen less expensive ones on Amazon. Um, they're a little smaller. They don't come with a charging port and that stuff. So, um, but this one comes with that. Um, comes in different colors and they're, they're retailing between $79 and $99. Oh. All right, so John is just doing the same exact process all over again. We're gonna put it inside of the germ machine to find out how effective it was by itself.
So it only dropped down to 796. Okay, so with this by itself, this UV machine, it only dropped what, about 100, 100 points? Not even. Not even. Okay, so that gives you kind of an idea, guys. Now remember, the UV light on these, um, this one actually, the reason it's more money is because it has it on the top and the bottom. So for me, that makes it effective because you can hit both sides, but that doesn't mean that you're getting the actual side. So you're going to get top and bottom. So that's something to consider for yourself. However... I'm sorry, the first one was 8.30. Okay, so the first one was 834. So it went down 40 points. Okay, so it went down about 40. So let's give it another shot using brush bath, okay? So what I do when I'm on the job is I use brush bath in my water to help release the oils and to help keep your water clean and get rid of the pigments inside of your bristles. I use the spray on the brushes, on my sponges, in between kids. I also use it to clean my own makeup for my face because you can, but... So I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take this spray... I'm going to uh, just spray it back and forth just like that, okay? Um, come, just kind of spray your brushes. All right, All right, so now we're gonna take this, now let's just run another test using actual brush bath on it and see how effective it was uh, in terms of germs. All right. All right, guys, see how exciting that is? See how awesome this is? This is good news for us. This means that I can help you save money on another product you gotta carry with you, like this big old bag, when you can literally just spray your brushes in between kids, spray your sponges, spray them after your gigs with brush bath. That's it, that's all you gotta do, guys create best practices. I am here to help you. I'm here to do my research. I'm here to help save you money. It would be very easy for me to say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna start selling you $100 uh, suitcases with infrared lighting. Or I can just keep on doing tests like this to find you supplies that are gonna help you make the parents happy. Um, seeing is believing, right? Like, again, I wouldn't have access to this amazing, fabulous machine without John. I'm very grateful that I am. But as you can see, we were able to get rid of almost 700 of germs, okay? And I'll get you the official terms. Um, but if you think about that, that's simply by spraying your brushes. That's what it takes. Now, there's no way to eliminate 100% of germs everywhere you go because my kids eat their toenails. I watch them. There's germs in the air. There's germs everywhere. Our bodies have so many different repellents on their own from your nose hairs to the hairs in your ears to your tonsils. To protect you from getting sore throats. So just keep that in mind. Our bodies are very powerful. And together with good knowledge, we can get back to doing what we love because we've been face painting for years without having problems like this where we're feeling like we're contaminating people or to in endangering them so let's just continue along the road knowing that the products that we sell the products that we carry the products we're using are effective and that is what I wanted to share with you guys today I hope that you enjoyed this test I hope it's giving you some peace of mind to show you how effective our products are that they're not just gimmicks um, many of you know me personally Personally, that's why when I create products, it's even more important that I do a good job because I want you guys to hold me accountable. So uh, thanks for joining me. You'll get to see new Handy Sani um, on the way. Our products are almost done. Like I said, Jan uh, June 1st is my launch date that I'm working on. I'm getting them out to you. So save some money, save some time, clean your kit, spray it down with brush bath, use it on your own face every day. It's how I clean my face. I put a little bit of this on a warm rag. It doesn't have alcohol in it. Um, so I'm able to get around my eyes without uh, having too much problems. Wipe off that those eyebrows. And yeah, so it's a great product all around. I hope you love it as much as I do. All right, guys, have a great day. And call me if you need anything. And send a big thank you to John. All right, guys, have a great one.